Good morning, everyone, and welcome to morning prayer for February 11th. This is the last Sunday after the Epiphany, uh, the Sunday before we begin our Lenten journey uh, this Wednesday on Ash Wednesday. Thank you for joining me for prayer. Our service begins on page 42 of the Book of Common Prayer. This is morning prayer rite 1. And the psalms appointed for today are Psalms 148, 149, and 150. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, with righteousness to judge the world and the peoples with his truth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you angels of his. Praise him, sun, moon. Praise him, you shining stars. Praise him, heaven of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He made them stand fast forever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous wind doing his will, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world, young men and maidens, old and young together, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is exalted. His splendor is over earth and heaven. He has raised up strength for his people and praise for his loyal servants, the children of Israel, a people who are near him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praise in the congregation of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them praise, sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people and adorns the poor with victory. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let them be joyful on their beds. Let the praises of God be in their throat and a two-edged sword in their hand, to wreak vengeance on the nations, and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings in chains, and their noble, nobles with links of iron, to inflict on them the judgment decreed. This is glory for his faithful people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God in his holy temple. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A lesson from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, the third chapter, beginning with the seventh verse. Now if the ministry of death, chiseled in letters on stone tablets, came in glory so that the people of Israel could not gaze at Moses' face because of the glory of his face, a glory now set aside, how much more will the ministry of the Spirit come in glory? For if there was glory in the ministry of condemnation, how much more much more does the ministry of justification abound in glory. Indeed, 
What once had glory has lost its glory because of the greater glory. For if what was set aside came through glory, much more has the permanent come in glory. Since then, we have such a hope, we act with great boldness, not like Moses who put a veil over his face to keep the people of Israel from gazing at the end of the glory that was being set aside. But their minds were hardened, indeed, to this very day when they hear the reading of the Old Covenant, that same veil is still there, since only in Christ is it set aside. Indeed, to this very day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over their minds. But when one turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And all of us, with unveiled faces, seeing the glory of the Lord, as though reflected in a mirror, are being transformed into the same image, from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord the Spirit. Here endeth the lesson. Continue with the Glory in Excelsis on page 52. Glory be to God on high, and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, We give thanks to thee for thy great glory, O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. O God, who before the passion of thy only begotten Son didst reveal his glory upon the holy mount, Grant unto us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross, and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, who makest us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of thy Son, our Lord, Grant us this day such blessing through our worship of thee that the days to come may be spent in thy favor. Through the same, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who hast made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and didst send thy blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near, grant that people everywhere may seek after thee and find thee, bring the nations into thy fold, pour out thy Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of thy kingdom. Through the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I bid you further prayers at this time, silently or aloud.
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for praying with me this morning. May God bless you with a, a wonderful Sunday and remainder of this time after the Epiphany before Lent and a very blessed beginning of our Lenten journey on Wednesday. Take care.